Greetings, everybody. Uh, Next Level Reviews here. I uh, got another drink review for you. I was at Choices the other day to pick up my bread and some garlic. And I came across this. I don't drink pop very much. Uh, but, I don't know, this caught my eye. Olipop. Supports digestive health. Cherry vanilla. Sparkling tonic. Plant powered. Microbiome approved. So it's got prebiotics, botanicals, plant fiber. To read their little slogan here. <clears throat> Cherry pie flavor, huh? Tart Morello cherries and a sweet tang, tang of Rainier cherries. Sumptuous vanilla bean. <clears throat> Gluten-free and vegan. No sh added sugar. Paleo. Contains 10% juice. That's rare in a can. Uh, does have 17 grams of carbs in it. But. I don't know. It looks pretty good. I'm going to give it a shot. Wow, deep red, deep pink, I'd say. Wow, that smells just like cherry juice and not artificial cherry. It tastes like the real deal. They say cherry juice is good for gout. Just give it a sniff. Yeah, I smell the cherry. It smells like a like a cherry turnover. Or you know them cans of cherries that you get put on like uh, baking stuff. That's what I smell. Let's give it a shot. Oh wow. That's sweet. I taste the vanilla. Man, that tastes like, uh, you ever seen them? It's like a <clears throat> cherry cake with the vanilla icing, like a cherry bundt cake with vanilla in it. Nice. And, and the little maraschino cherries. <sighs> oh man, that's good. Holy moly. Yeah, pretty sweet, so I wouldn't drink one of these very often. <clears throat> but man, that tastes great. That tastes like a, a iced cherry donut. Okay, now there's some crazy ass ingredients in here, so let's check it out. Purified water, tart cherry juice concentrate, cassava root fiber, chicory root inulin. Cassava or cassava root syrup, apple juice concentrate, Jerusalem artichoke inulin, lime juice, natural white cherry flavor, kudzu root. Wow, that's like a, a crazy invasive plant that grows all over the south from Japan, I think. They use goats to eat it. Marshmallow root. All right, come on now. What the heck is that? Nepal cactus, slippery elm bark. Natural vanilla flavor, calendula flower, stevia, it's like some kind of artificial sugar, I think. Himalayan pink salt extract. Now, these are the craziest ingredients I've ever seen in a bottled or a canned pop. I guess I don't know if we can call it a pop. It's a sparkling tonic. And that's good. That's for sipping on. Yeah, extremely sweet. Like a glazed donut with cherry filling. <clears throat> hmm. Well, would I rate this? Well, first of all, would I drink it again? Uh, yeah. Like I said, I wouldn't drink them very often because of the sugar content, but that's a little treat. 
little special treat for me. Yeah, it's like I'm eating cherry pie. Hmm. I don't know if I can attest to uh, all the other claims on here about digestive health and whatnot. I guess we'll find out tomorrow morning. Tart Morello cherries and Rainier cherries. But on the back it just says white cherries, I thought. No, it does say tart cherries. Hmm. It ain't no Luxardo cherry. If you know what that is, I applaud you because... It's like the Rolls Royce of cocktail cherries. It's got like a apple pie smell. <clears throat> Reminds me of a bear claw scent. You know that donut with the apple in it, bear claw? Yeah. This is this is delish. Yeah, sip on that. Cause the cherry just keeps building in your tongue. And then you're hit with that vanilla and a little bit of tartness like an apple. Yeah, immediate strong syrupy cherry eases into vanilla finishes with apple pie you guys put cheese on your apple pie let me know in the comments yeah I'm pissed off at myself I only got one of these Some people might have a notion to put liquor in it. Olipop. Cherry vanilla sparkling tonic. Would buy again. I will buy again. Uh, special occasion type. Sodi. So, would I rate this? Yo, this is a 90. It's a 90 for me, dog. I like it. It's, it's not like a... It's not like pop. It's right. It's like a tonic. Uh, it's not as bubbly as a canned pop. Next time I might just crack it and slam it. Just feel the burn because it's not very sparkling. Uh, it's not very bubbly. <clears throat> but yeah, check this out. I'm sure it's got less sugar than a Mountain Dew. And lots of added benefits. So yeah. If you can find this, try it out. I give it a 90. That's a good grade. Don't get much higher than that. Extremely sweet. If you're sensitive to sweet, maybe cut it with some Topo Chico. That's an idea. But anyway, thanks for tuning in.